to high school girls hockey. Today it's a non-conference matchup featuring the Holy Family Fire and the Maple Grove Crimson. From the Maple Grove Community Center, John Jacobson along with Dan Ficken. Dan, we are about three weeks away from the end of the regular season. Both the Fire and the Crimson trying to get to their best hockey of the year heading into section play next month. Well, this is the time to get it going. Both teams right now are two, four, two and four in their last six games, so something's got to give here. The biggest thing I'm noticing, too, is that goals against per game for Maple Grove, 1.44. That's an advantage. They play good defense. Holy Family's got to figure out a way to get in there and get some goals. Both teams with a lot of young skaters this year, especially Holy Family, just one senior, and so that's taken a little bit of a toll on their record. They need to play a little bit better, their coach says, but they, they, you know, they're learning and they're playing some tough teams. They're five and five in their last 10 games overall, but boy, you're playing some good competition along the way. They're in a good section too. Well, you know, John, you always play for the end of the season. You're right. only promised to the kids, I'll make you better than what you are now, but they're coming on. They're starting to put it together. And uh, this is a really good game for them to really test how far they've come against the Crimson. And Maple Grove, what one game better record-wise versus Holy Family, 11-6-1 versus 10-7-1. Also playing a really tough schedule and perhaps not as many wins right now as they had a year ago at this time. But again, with more new skaters, you're certainly learning and building toward that postseason. Well, that's it. You know, I look at Holy Family, they're young. 14 freshmen and sophomores on the team. Maple Grove, they're pretty young too. But... You know, they've played some better competition, so we'll see if Maple Grove has a dominant game today. Let's look at our key players, starting with the fire. Josie Lynn came up midway through her eighth grade year, now a junior, really can put the puck in the net. Big physical player, she should be one to watch here today. I like that she's scoring, she's physical, you know? But uh, she can sip the, the shots. My God, she's got a, just a cannon for a shot. Plays her and it finds its spots, and that's why she's, she's having just a great year. She's got to shoot more. They want her to shoot more. She's got a lot of assists, but uh, we'll see if she opens up tonight and does that. And for Maple Grove, one of their defensemen, a senior, definitely a leader on this team, and a player who can score, although has a lot of assists this year, Grace Erickson. Well, that's what you want from your D, man. You want a lot of assists and stuff. They set it up, either a shot that's tipped in or they move the puck around, and she does an amazing good job with that. And she adds to their total play. If you can get five players attacking rather than just three forwards, you're way ahead of the game. Should be a good one here today. Maple Grove Holy Family Girls Hockey, and it's live next on CCX. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Saturday afternoon at the Maple Grove Community Center. Holy Family in Maple Grove getting set to face off in girls hockey. Welcome back to CCX, John Jacobson, along with Dan Ficken. Looking forward to this game. Second time we've seen Maple Grove on television this year, early in the year, very early against uh, Shakopee. It's always fun to see a team second time, especially when it's been, you know, not quite two months, but several weeks. You, you get a, a teams develop and, and, and mature, and, and we'll get a, a second look here at uh, the Crimson here today. Look at our starting goalies, Kayla Swartar. That's just a sophomore. Look at her numbers. Outstanding. 9 6 and 1. Goals against 2.25 and the save percentage of .919 with two shutouts. And at the other end, the veteran, Danny Strom. What an outstanding goalie she is, not <laughs> only for Maple Grove, but statewide. 1.41 goals against and a .946 save percentage and five shutouts on the season for the senior. Double Shipley. And Josie Lynn on the opening face-off. Senior day at Maple Grove and starting seniors here on the uh, opening shift today. Interception on the pass. This is Lauren Lubau taking it in deep into the zone. Swings it around the boards. 
Addie Sillerud is actually a junior, the lone junior on the ice right now for Maple Grove. Keeps it in. Low ball back behind the net. Lost it. And Lynn takes it for Holy Family. Out they come now. Addie Cowan playing first line left wing on this first line for the first time with Josie Lynn and Taryn Richter. Maple Grove getting the puck back in their own zone, losing it. Cowan getting it. She goes back behind the Crimson Net, moves to the corner with it. Now dumps it off to Richter. And behind the Maple Grove net, taken back by the Crimson. Along the boards, unable to keep it in though, or get the puck out. Now it's cleared and shot back in by Katya Sander. Rung around the boards by Sillerud and kept in by Allen. Job by Holy Family in the opening minute plus of play, keeping the puck down mostly in the Maple Grove end, although no shots on net at all. Now a takeaway at the blue line. Pass in front and a save. Strong gets a piece of that on the shot from Jenna Allen. Well, good opportunity by Holy Family there. They've done a nice job of taking a turnover and making it into an attack. Maple Grove shot the other way, and Swartout has her first stop of the day, making the save on Harper Winnicky. Put out in front, Swartout's got to cover up on it. Look at that turnover, Maple Grove at their line, and a good takeaway for the fire. And Strom getting over and stopping the shot from Jenna Allen. Jenna Allen's the lone senior on this Holy Family varsity team today captain very very young team for the fire off the face off in the holy family zone battle in the corner for the puck finally controlled by maple grove here's bella shipley puts it on net and sword out makes the save crimson still with it Pass into the slot. No one there all the way across to the far boards. Back out. Blue line. Shot away. Oh, tip yeah. of the goal. Shipley with a great tip off the shot from Maddie Elstrand. And Maple Grove leads 1 to nothing. 2 12 into the game. Well, there she is. 16th goal of the season. Stepped right up. Got a beautiful tip in there. Set up in front of the net. She ain't afraid to go into that dark territory. Gets a nice tip. And Maple Grove Crimson come up to a 1 0 lead. You see a good back play there. The shot right away. And she did tip it. We didn't quite get all of it, but uh, nice play by Bella Shipley. Shipley with her team high 16th goal of the season. And it's 1 0 Maple Grove. Second assist goes to Fiona Gallagher. On the goal by Shipley. And it's 1-0. Maple Grove here right back on the attack. Trying to smother him down, not giving Holy Family a chance to really kind of answer back right now. Good forechecking by the Crimson. Family trying to push it up the right wing. Goes off the skate of Lynn there. She was coming off the ice. Shot back in by Maple Grove. The teams get their complete change. And now taken by Lauren Showalter, the freshman. Moves it up. Ice missed on the pass, and it's icing on the fire. Well, she fooled everybody on that pass, John. She was looking off to her, her left, trying to get it. Looked like he was going to get a pass over and just kind of slipped it out, but it got away from her a little bit. I think probably th later in this period, it'll slow down before it gets to an icing. Face-off win for Holy Family by Ella no Nonweiler. She's their second-team center. Puck played out to center ice, and then they ride Ella Sharkey off the puck. Maple Grove able to play it back toward the blue line. Fire will regroup there. Pass misses Sharkey. Played back across the fire line. Pushed in deep toward the corner, skating after it. Crimson going with Abby Oakland. She goes down to the ice along with Casey Cronin of Holy Families. The puck's played to center. Flipped right back in. Oakland had to get back on side. Now she'll pick up the puck and slide the pass off. Comes up to Shipley on the right side. Shipley trying to squeeze through a couple players. Couldn't do so. Unable to get her stick on it 
and get a shot away was Hadley Baker, number three. Holy Family controls it again. Good poke check away there by Elfstrand. On net, the save made. And a good stop on Kelsey Olson by Kayla Swartout, sophomore. Busy in the first few minutes here. You know, I'll tell you, these Maple Grove D are doing a nice job of pinching. You see a good, uh, nice play there. Just couldn't quite get it up on top. But the Maple Grove's defense has been pretty tough, too, not giving up the blue line and creating some opportunities out of them. Baker on to Shipley's stick, trying to feed it out in front. That gets blocked. And Baker's pass out in front, skated away by Shugel. Mel Shugel coming in deep, puts it wide of the net as she carried all the way down to Danny Strom. Touched by Baker into the Holy Family zone. It's going to be icing on the Crimson. Didn't quite make it over the red line there. Just about a foot outside, causing an icing. I see a good opportunity here. She takes it in deep. She tries to feed one across the slot to the backside wing there, number 31. Good rush there by Mael Shugel. Shots on goal so far, 6-1 in favor of Maple Grove. They lead it one nothing. Shot here goes wider than that off the stick of Sander from the blue line. Maple Grove putting it down the ice. Another icing on the Crimson. Well, they're trying to keep the, the Holy Family defense honest, John, by trying to make some long passes coming out. We get a good look at Randy Keppel. Randy Keppel, seventh year head coach. Coached a lot of hockey before that. Bloomington Jefferson grad, really good uh, coach. These, these teams have played each other the last few seasons and uh, had a healthy respect for each other's programs and had some really good teams. The Holy Family had a number of girls who were playing Division I hockey, women now, that, uh, but they had the misfortune of being in the same section as Minnetonka. Yeah, I think he said he had six of his kids go D1 over the past couple of years. Trying to ski, squeeze through there was Nonweiler, but couldn't get through the two Crimson players. On the boards, flipped out to center ice. Pass missing uh, to Nonweiler, but comes down into the Crimson zone. Play to the left side. Going after it there is Elfstrand, the freshman defenseman. Out to center ice now. Squeezed off the puck and checked into the boards there was Oakland. And it'll probably bring a penalty. Perfectly legal in uh, boys hockey, but not in the girls game. That should bring two minutes here on the fire. Nonwhile, I'll go to the box. Look at it again. Good try to, at, a, at a rub out there, which is allowed in girls hockey. But she fell down. I don't know if that was a little bit of an act or if she grew up, but she drew the penalty <laughs> for Maple Grove. Coach Keppel didn't necessarily Agree. He's ready to hand out an Oscar. So first power play. Maple Grove right now they got a 22.2% success rate on the power play. It's be a good opportunity for them to pick it up. It's one area of the game I think they need to get better at. Holy Family on the year on the penalty kill 82.4%. Good job by Elfstrand to keep the puck in at the blue line. Shot away from the point and the save made. Shipley puts it right on net. And the save made by Swartout. Swartout did a nice job of getting out up above the crease there to really cut down the angle nicely. Pushed out toward the left point to Elfstrand. Now onto the stick of Shipley. Into the high slot. Shipley back to Elfstrand. Moves in. Shot away. Wide to the net. Picked up by Allen of Holy Family. And she'll send it down the ice. 1.30 to go on the power play here for the Crimson. Elfstrand to Shipley. Avoids contact there from Cowan. Will bring it all the way deep into the zone. Shipley. Back behind the net. Into the circle. Slides it out in front. Trying to get it on the Grace Erickson stick. Comes all the way to the boards. And then cleared down the ice again by Holy Family. Now to a minute to go in the power play on the fire. 10-20 to play in the first period. 1-0. A missed pass there at center. 
And an icing on Maple Grove here on the power play. We had a little trouble with Maple Grove falling down there. The pass was the right move, just the both forwards coming off the bench kind of lost their edge. Jim Colta's second stint here at Maple Grove. That's why you see third season, 13th season. He was here for uh, 10 years, then uh, coached also in Rogers, the Champlin Park, and Champlin Park Coon Rapids program, and now back in uh, stint to his third year as head coach of the Crimson. Out of 40 seconds left on that power play. Long shot from just inside the center red line. Save made. Crimson gain control of the puck. On to Baker stick. Back out right point. Gallagher to Baker. To the corner. Passed by Oakland. Gallagher shot gets blocked by Allen. And she's able to clear the zone. Down to under 15 seconds left in the power play. Lubo with it. Comes across the center and on the left side. Back behind the net with five seconds left in the extra skater. Baker along the boards. Holy Family back at full strength. Tie up finally cleared up by Holy Family and Maddie Braun takes it. Plays it out down into the Holy Family zone. Race for the puck there. And a shot toward the side of the net that Strom gets his stick on. Played back behind the net by Cody of Holy Family. And then cleared out. Here's Shipley now trying to squeeze it past the defenseman there, Sander. And the cover up in net by Swartow. Well, well we're plenty warm in the uh, confines of the Maple Grove mm -hmm. Community Center. But if you step outside... Not so nice. Three above. <laughs> Feels like a minus 16. And looked at the, what the wind show will be tomorrow morning, Dan. About 25 below. It's, it's going to get worse before it gets better here in a few days. We'll be sending you out to warm up my car here in, in the third period, by oh, the way. Thank you, John. I look forward yeah. to the privilege. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Save made by Danny Strom. What a great career she's had here. Terrific softball player, too. But uh, and one of the elite hockey's her sport. It is one of the better ones in the country in this sport. Play at St. Thomas next year. Midway through the first period, 1 0 Crimson on the Shipley goal. Maisie Tomlinson, another young player from Maple Grove, got the puck down into the Fire zone. Trying to get it back, and it's going to be skated out instead by Nonweiler. Comes the Maple Grove line. Nonweiler, a good score for them. Got taken off the park before she could get a shot away. Grace Eric did a good job of covering her up and back checking and stopping her from coming into the middle. From the circle, shot away, but missing the net. On the shot attempt was Cowan. Back behind the net. Richter gets it again. Put it out in front. Picked off by Maple Grove. Cleared. And it does get out of the zone. Back forward is Schugel. She'll bring it in. Left side. Still with the puck all the way back behind her net. Beats it off to the point. And then it bounces off the stick there of Grace Timmers. Back in. And now Maple Grove with possession. They'll skate it in and taken off the stick there of Winicky. Good play by Holy Family. Pushed ahead into the zone by Sander. Banked off the boards. Kept in by Lynn. Lynn back behind the net. Gallagher shadowing her. Dumps the puck to the corner. And going after it. Nas for Holy Family. Played by Maple Grove though out of the zone. Back it comes, Cronin with it for the fire. Skates it up to center ice. Cronin hits the blue line with the puck, fires a shot, but missed the net. And some mustard on that shot, but missed the, the goal completely. Now Maple Grove will bring it up. This is Olsen, junior forward. Into the zone on the left side, trying to squeeze her way past Cronin there. 
Shepley moves in on the left side. Now Bella Shipley will skate after it, but Cronin gets there first for the fire. Along the boards where Erickson keeps it in for the Crimson. On to Olsen's stick. Trying to feed it to Shipley back behind the net and does. Shipley will move into the circle, dumps it off. Played back out to the blue line. Long shot away there. A little, initially a little trouble by Swartop, but able to cover up. Kelly Anderson with the initial shot for Maple Grove there. Well, Swartop so far has done okay. She looked a little shaky on that clamp down. I'm sure that won't happen again. Got to play with confidence. You see the shot come through. And then she'll kind of dribble it off her stick before the rebound got to it, but she stopped it. Erickson couldn't get the pass off. Good play by Sharkey. Got it out to center. Now Shipley will bring it right back in. Two on two. Drop pass. Shot away. Save made by Swartop. And on the shot from Kelsey Olson. A play to the corner and then push back out toward the blue line. Hey, Anderson now gets past her. Chance here for Holy Family and Allen. And getting back into the play nicely, Lubo. Prevent a scoring chance for the fire. Now take away right in front. Backhand shot on that by Nonweiler. And Strom's got to make her best save so far. After it goes Braun for Holy Family. Cleared back out of the zone by Maple Grove, though, here. And it's icing on the Crimson. 5 wait to play first period. One to nothing, Maple Grove, John Jacobson, Dan Fickett and our crew with you on Maple Grove Community Center. Nice move here in front. Tried to get a shot. I'm really glad she took that backhand shot instead of trying to turn to a forward. That was a good shot. Face of win for Holy Family, but then chipped by Maple Grove all the way down into the Holy Family zone. They wave off icing. Puck rings around the boards. Gallagher keeping it in the zone for Maple Grove. Holy Family with possession. Miss on the pass right at their blue line, and it's icing on the fire this time. Good idea. Just that pass is a little out of the, the reach, and it went down for an icing. But you see who they're trying to get the puck to, though. Josie Home, Lynn. Holy Family trying to build on a two-game win streak. Maple Grove with two losses in a row. Trying to break that here today. Fire with Schuel. Getting the pass for Lynn. Or excuse me, for Richter. And now back behind the net. The reverse left side to Ruby Link. Out to center. Buck got tipped there, swept back into the fire zone by Kate Fisher. Fisher, nice job of getting the puck ahead of Timmers. Played back out to the blue line. And then reacquired by the fire back behind the net by Grace Timmers, a sophomore D. Chipped on the right side, and out comes Holy Family from center. They'll shoot it in and make a change. Strom will leave it back behind her net for Gallagher. Pass missed up the left side. Up, intercepted by Holy Family. And then taken back by Maple Grove. Fire, push it back at the blue line. Now it comes to center and onto the stick of Shipley. Shipley will chip it ahead and skate after it. And gets to the puck again, Shipley. Feeds it off, shot away by Elmstrand. Hits traffic in front. And then picked up by Sander and cleared out. Icing on Holy Family. Uh, you can see that the Crimson now are kind of doubling up their lines. They went to two lines right now because we're starting to see, you know, Bella out there quite a bit. Shipley, every other shift. Good shot there, good block by the D. Off the face off, this is Baker for Maple Grove. Yet another freshman on this team for the Crimson. Taken by the fire, and they'll skate it out to center. Pass misses Lynn in the neutral zone, and Maple Grove will start back up with Erickson. Erickson, nice job to avoid 
contact will skate it in on the right side. Grace Erickson moves side of the circle, centers it out in front, loose puck, and then cleared away by the fire and out of the zone. And then brought back in momentarily offside by Oakley. Oakland. Oakland thought they had cleared that she didn't see the far wing on the side, stuck deep inside, but Soli family team scrappy. They're not backing off one bit here. Under three minutes to play here in the first. Buck on to Oakland stick. Stops, feeds it back out to Erickson, lost it off to her stick. And then gets it back at center. Erickson pushes in, then she went down. Cody trying to clear it out of the zone for the fire and does. Shot back in by Elfstrand. And the Grove will make a change. Fire a long pass out to Cody. Off her skates, gathers it back in as she moves in on the left side and take it away from her by Erickson. Cronin keeps it in, shoots it wide of the Maple Grove net. Back onto Erickson, stick again. And so the blue line came up into the bench area, I believe, and that was the reason for the whistle off the stick of uh, Oakland. Well, the puck was in there somewhere. Well, Maple Grove's got to get their, their breakout running a little smoother here. That Holy Family's been pretty pesky. Winicky and Nonweiler on the faceoff right in front, and Strom able to cover up. Boy, good use of her stick there, John. She wasn't allowing to get too close. Nice job. That's a good reaction on her part. Jenna Allen was right on top of her after that faceoff win. This time, Maple Grove controls. And they cleared out. It went past the defenseman, Timmers, and so no icing here. Family will get it to the neutral ice and intercepted and shot in by Sillerud. Timmers with it. Off to Allen. Allen's pass tipped. Trying to get it through and Strom clears it away. Sharkey was the forward that was down deep for the fire. Maple Grove. Able to play it out of danger. They get it to center. Three player battle there at center ice. And fired from center in by Erickson into the zone. Played to an open spot on the ice, and Elfstrand will shoot it in for the fire for the Crimson into the fire zone. Under 40 seconds to play in the first period. Baker trying to dig the loose puck away from Cronin there. Neither one ends up with it, and it's played by Finn out to center. A chance for the fire coming back the other way. Shot away. Strom the save. Gave up a rebound, but Cowan couldn't get her stick on it. Another chance out in front, but Braun couldn't get it on net. Cleared out to center. Ten seconds to play. Perhaps one last rush for the fire. Comes out of the zone. Here's Shipley. Five seconds to go. Shipley will come in and lost the puck off her stick as she came to the circle. And that'll be the end of the first period. Well, what a good, good skating, Dan, in that uh, first period. Maple Grove leads 1-0. Yeah, good back and forth game. Maple Grove leads the shots 9-6 in comparison, but good back and forth game, only 1-0. And uh, the Fire have had their chances, but good first period for both teams. Douglas Shipley, the lone goal on the deflection. You're looking at it again. And that's the only marker of the period. It's 1-0 Crimson after one. More hockey on CCX after this.
Lizzie Dave, the Maple Grove Community Center, and through one period of our girls' hockey game today, it's one to nothing. Maple Grove leading the Holy Family Fire. John Jacobson and Dan Ficken, and lots of good highlights from the first 17 minutes of play. It didn't take long, Dan, for Maple Grove to get on the board. Puck played across, Kelsey Olson to Maddie Elstrand with a shot. Bella Shipley, number eight, with the tipped in goal. That came at 2-12 of the first period to make it one to nothing. Another good scoring chance here, the poke check, and then Shipley, Olsen put the shot on net and the save made by Holy Family sophomore goalie, Kayla Swartout. Fire did have some chances of their own. Allen putting the puck out front and then a takeaway and a backhand shot, a good one by Nonweiler that Danny Strom able to make the save on. And then the rush here from Maddie Braun, the rebound, Cowan couldn't quite get her stick on it because Elfstrand made a good defensive play there. Keeper from getting a stick on it. So there again is our score, our shots on goals. Dan mentioned at the end of the period, 9-6 scoring chances, 4-2 in favor of the Crimson. And just the one penalty did not result in a power play for Maple Grove. Maple Grove a little better, but I'd say fairly even play, yes. Dan, in that first period. Yeah, the shots are close and stuff, and they each had some, some opportunities. I think a majority of play was in Maple Grove's favor, but they weren't dominant. They, right. they got just a little, few more chances they created. Regular season winding down in three weeks in girls hockey. We've got two periods here to go this afternoon at the Maple Grove Community Center. Crimson lead the fire 1-0. Back with our second period on CCX after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Maple Grove won, a holy family, nothing. As we get ready to drop the puck on the second period of play. Girls hockey today on CCX from Maple Grove Community Center. John Jacobson with Dan Ficken. Fire in their road greens and Maple Grove in their home whites today. Danny Strom, six saves, has the shutout so far for the Crimson. Now Shipley, the lone goal. Well, we'll see you can find their legs here in the second period now. Face-off win for the Crimson. Grace Erickson able to push it ahead. Here comes Shipley saying onside was Baker. Boy, she was straddling that blue line, but <laughs> did stay on. Onside. Back behind the net. Olsen getting tied up, goes down, but able to release the puck to Erickson. Moves into the corner. Lynn plays it for Holy Family. Back behind her net for Sander. Take away by Shipley. Sander gets it back, though, for the fire. Out she comes now. A sophomore shot away and missed the net. Puck chipped up back behind the net, and now Erickson with it. Will play it up the wing to Baker. Down into the Holy Family zone. It's icing on the Crimson. Well, a good start for the Holy Family there and got an opportunity right away, but Maple Grove turned it back. The first period, you remember, too, they the first minute and a half or yep. so, they were the team that had the puck possession and lay down in the Crimson Zone. See if they can do anything with it with the faceoff in the Maple Grove end. Nonwell winning the faceoff to Allen back at the blue line, kept in there by Schugel. And taken by Maple Grove by Winnicky back behind her net, played out to center ice. Take away, and it's back onto Winnicky's stick, and then she overskated it as she brought it into the zone. Tomlinson, 33. Now it's Winnicky with it. Got Tomlinson out in front, she'll skate with it. Drop the pass off, and then shot back behind the net there from Gallagher. Out to center. Allen trying to get it by Gallagher and can't do so as Gallagher skates back for it. Up to the blue line, pushed out to center. Two players go down, carried in. Tomlinson fires wide of the Holy Family net. 
Still in the fire zone. Taken back though by Holy Family Showalter. Lauren Showalter with it again, number 19. Now along the boards to Sharkey. Shipley moving in along with Olsen from Maple Grove to try to get the takeaway. Instead, it's Shugel that got it clear for the fire. But the Maple, Grove, Maple Grove just putting a big four yeah. check on here. They're just sticking in, not afraid of letting it go. Olsen with the shot on net and the save made by Swartout and iced here by Holy Family. Well, we've seen the effect of the forechecking that the Crimson have. I know Coach Colt is, he always tries to be aggressive, and I like that. He wants them to go full tilt, and if they make a mistake, no big deal. The aggressiveness overall will win out. Olsen face off with Cody. Fire with it back behind the net. Cronin. The boards they come past the center ice at Cowan Skate. Taken briefly by Olsen. Now pushed into the zone by Shipley. Olsen with it. Baker with a shot. That hits a defenseman skate and played out by Holy Family to center. Olsen playing it ahead. Shipley on the open wing. On to Baker's stick. Top of the circle and lost the Puck right off her stick and taken by Cowan. Played up ahead briefly to Nonweiler and then she lost it to Erickson. Erickson will feed Baker with the puck. Hadley Baker bouncing puck and covered by Sword out for a whistle. You know, the one thing, Jen, I like about the Crimson right now, their passes are given a lot more firmer. They're not so slow and mushy. And it helps get through the wet spots on the ice that are still there. From the Zamboni, I'm surprised with the temperature outside the way it is. I should have frozen up real quick. Buck pops out to center ice. Back onto the skip sticker there of Gallagher. Out to center, pushed back ahead by Timmers into the Maple Grove zone. Silverwood playing it back for Gallagher. Comes a defenseman, walks it up to center, and it's pushed into the zone by Lubo. Our Daniels circling out in front for Maple Grove, but nobody could get her the puck. Holy Family able to clear it out to center. Now a two on two chance, briefly for Holy Family. Getting back into the play, though, was Oakland. Didn't allow that to materialize for the fire. Holy Family making it, a, making a change, and Timmers doing her best to keep possession of the puck. Along the boards to the blue line, back out. Shugel fire. Strom makes the save, rebound dry, and that goes wider than that. To the blue line and swept back ahead into the Holy Family zone. Twelve and a half minutes to play here. In the second period, the Crimson with the goal two, less than two and a half minutes into the game by Bella Shipley. The lone marker today. Fire will shoot it back down into the Maple Grove zone. Just one penalty so far. That was on Holy Family in the first period. It's been a good skating hockey game, Dan. It think. has. They really have. The Crimson have done a nice job keeping the the fire out of the out of the middle though coming down the slot. The Holy Family shot a moment ago by Strom and then the rebound try given up, but rebound shot was wide of the Crimson net. Right, as you can see, that would have been trouble if it had gone the other side. There were two fire players right there. Shot by Sander didn't get a lot on it, and it allows Maple Grove to clear it out. Olson brings it in on the left side. Being tied up from behind. Now comes to Shipley. Trying to play it back for Olsen. Sander going after it there for Holy Family. Olsen gets a stick on it again. Erickson will keep it in the zone. Back behind the net. The defenseman putting it right out in front. And nobody there for the Crimson. Cowan getting it for Holy Family. 
pushed into the zone. Holy Family makes a change by Braun. Taken by Erickson back the other way. Trying to catch the fire and a little bit of a change here. Erickson with a shot and a good block on the play by Showalter. Fire. Get it right back. Now a chance for them. Moving in is Cody with his strong sliding across and makes the save. Back out to Showalter at the blue line, fires, and Strom gets a stick on that. Deflects it to the glass back behind her. Cleared by Elfstrand, but not out. Showalter keeps it in. Elfstrand this time gets it out. Past Oakland, and it'll slide all the way down to Swart out. She'll play it onto the stick there of Shugel. Shugel for Holy Family. Oh, has it taken away from her? Put out in front, Swart out. Deflects it off her stick, comes back to Cody. And this will go wide of Strom, but she'll stop it. Another change here for Holy Family on the line. Pushed up the left side and into the zone by Sillerud. I'm back behind the boards. Good job by Cronin there to keep it away from the Crimson player. Lubau gets it and dumps it back behind the fire net into the corner. Pass behind the net, almost a giveaway there by Holy Family, but now it's on to the stick of Richter. Skates in and goes down as she ran into Sillerud. Crimson back with Tomlinson. They see Tomlinson centering pass out in front, cleared but not out of the zone. Dump back behind the net. Push to the open corner. To the boards and Holy Family able to get it past Gallagher at the point. Erickson back forward for the Crimson. Long time without a whistle here in this one. Grace Erickson up to Tomlinson. Poked away and then back onto Tomlinson's stick. She'll bring it in the left side. Floated into the Holy Family zone. Behind the net where it's taken there by Cronin. Cronin, rink wide pass. On to Cowan's stick. Lost it. And it's Erickson with it again for the Crimson. She'll flip it up to center. Dumped into the Holy Family zone. Tipped by the fire there. No reason, er, the reason for no icing in that situation. Here's Shipley with it. Shipley stops, fires a shot, and Swart out the save. Had Olsen right there in front if Swart out had given up a rebound. Uh, gee, Swart has been giving up some rebounds here for Holy Family. We get a nice look here. Nice backhand at that stick. My Swart out did a great job of deflecting it. Then they get a great opportunity coming down here. And Cody, the eighth grader, trying to slide it past Strom and couldn't. Trying for the five hole and. Uh, didn't quite get it through. She covered it up really well. Player goes down and taken by Baker. Puts it out in oh. front. Shot away and a oh. goal. Oh. What a great pass by Baker. Yes. And Olsen buries it. It's 2 nothing. Yeah, Baker with a great play here. Great play. Coming back and getting it back. And boy, that was a nice play. Give the trims in a two zip lead right now. You see the nice pass right there. And then setting up that triangle, pulled the defense back. So she was wide open out on the top point of that diamond. Did a nice job. She got a clear shot and she buried it. Olsen with her sixth goal of the season. Baker the lone assist and the Olsen goal. Coaches are really happy with the Kelsey Olsen's play, starting to pick it up offensively. Not a ton of goals for her this season so far, but certainly has the capability of putting the puck in the net. And they look for those uh, scores coming down the stretch and into the playoffs. Well, she's already got, you know, 14 assists. That was her sixth goal, but you know, she's been in on the scoring, creating yeah. some plays. It's nice she finally buried one. So 2 to nothing Crimson now as we pass the midway point of the second period. Shots on goal 15 to 10 in favor of Maple Grove.
fired not had a lot of really great a scoring chances today damn I mean they have the one on the, on the the breakout there by Cody a few minutes ago but not a lot and they're gonna need a minimum of two here in the next uh, 24 minutes of play well the average touch of the, the, the flames can score three goals in the game that's what they're averaging so they're still still in this thing but they need to get some more pressure. Well, and you talked about in their, in their pregame right at the top how good Maple Grove has been well, most nights defensively. And it's not just goaltending, just overall team yes. defense. So mm -hmm. it's not easy to score a lot on them. Lubound almost had a scoring chance there for Maple Grove, but couldn't get it. And then shot into the zone by Gallagher. What I really like is the Crimson are set up as a, a group of five. You know, it's not the forwards just doing the scoring or defense play defense. They all get involved offensively and defensively, and that's helped the result in the 2 zip lead right now. Erickson with a shot, swart out to save. Back come the fire the other way. Braun brings it into the zone to the right corner. It's pinned up against the board there by Elfstrand. Comes loose to Oakland. She went down, but Erickson's there to take the loose puck. She'll flip it up to center. Touched by Holy Family at the blue line. They'll skate it down in their own zone with Hengem with it. Ellison Hengem. Oh, I got it squeezed off the puck here. Shipley with a drop pass. Shot away. And that Ooh. one. I don't know if got a piece of it or not. We're off of Olsen stick trying to bury a second one here in the period. I'll tell you, John, the, the Crimson, man, this forecheck has just been killing the fire right now. They're doing a great job. Now they got the possession of it again. Back it comes. Shipley backhand. Swart out the save. That uh, top line is dangerous. Get a nice look at it here. Nice move here. And then slips it out in the front and almost squeezes it in. She thought she was going to slide off that post to the other side. She, uh, Swart out didn't, but... Close. Then we got another opportunity. It was close. Uh, it just hit some traffic in front of Olsen shot. Under six minutes to go now here in the second. Falling down there was Tomlinson. And the fire get the puck. Goes off the stick there of Sharkey at center. Taken by Sillerud. Played up to center. Turn back the other way. Holy Family in. Chance for them. Two on two. And shot. It's deflected before it can come to Strom. Those are some of the things you talk about, Dan. That in a pretty good scoring position. But the mm. shot doesn't even get through. Because the defenseman's right there to get her stick in the way. And keep her goalie out of harm's way. Out at center. Swept into the fire zone by Kale, Kate Fisher. Now comes Sander with it. Up the left side. Nice little move there past Oakland. Sander with it. Drags it through again. And finally run off the puck there by Sillerud. And Sillerud got spun around as she tried to move it up the boards. Gets it back on her stick. Comes back to Lubo. And to get it out of the zone and does. Skated down by Shugel. Shugel come back behind the net and lost her footing there and lost the puck. Along the boards, taken back though by the fire by Richter. Put it back on his Shugel stick. Behind the net, oh, dangerous pass oh. out in front, but the fire end up with it back on their stick. Pass ahead, just a little too far ahead for Link. And Maple Grove able to get it out. Out it comes to center. Shipley trying to squeeze through and hits one off the puck. A nice defensive play there by Shugel to keep the dangerous Bella Shipley from getting her stick on the puck there right by her goalie. That was really a nice play because they were, they were held out on scoring on that one, boy. Erickson with a shot and the save by Swart out. Well, there you have it. It's sworn out against the Crimson right now at the rate it's going. See, a nice play here. But then she's all by herself. Now, nice play, but then that far ring is coming in late. But that's been the problem with the, the fire, John. They haven't been able to get more than one person down and get a shot on goal. They need two or three people just to sustain it. 
Shipley back out to the blue line. Shot away from there. A whistled right into the glove of Swartout. Oh, the bullet off the stick of Elstrand. Yeah, it was kind of deflected up, but she had a lot of good wood on that one. It's a real bullet. Three ten to play in the second period. Maple Grove with a goal in each period to lead it 2 nothing. <laughs> Way up to center. Here's Lynn. Lynn moving in. Fires a shot wide. He's got a good shot but couldn't hit the net there. All the way back down into the fire zone. It'll be skated down by Timmers. Timmers. Shipley. Knocked her down, picked up by Sander. And taken by the fire, and they play it out to center. Cowan with it there, will sweep it into the Maple Grove zone, but she was on her side of center ice there, and that's icing on Holy Family. Not quite as many icings here in the second period as we had in the first, but look at that scoring chance again. Good shot. Yeah, good block off by the Maple Grove. Grove defense there that to keep that far side wing from being a factor there coming down the slot. And didn't give her a lot to shoot at either. No. Face off win controlled here. It's Allen for Maple Grove. And Sharkey got it into the zone. Allen trying to put her back out in front for Sharkey. Loose puck right in front of Strom. Who has to make the save? Now Maple Grove will come back the other way. Fisher in on the right side. Puts it toward net. Um, they were offside, offside. Maple Grove. Yeah, the fire just finally put a good, good group together and got a good shot off and were a threat that time. Played in front of the Holy Family zone, in net rather, and the fire able to clear their zone and down into the crimson end. I think this is going to be icing, yes, on Holy Family. We'll skate it back the other way. After today, Holy Family have six days off before they play Hill Murray on the 19th. They have back to back games next weekend. Hill Murray and then Blake at home on Saturday the 20th, Maple Grove. Has a Tuesday game at Anoka. And then they will host Alexandria here next Friday night. Grace Erickson putting it in front. Olsen trying to chop it past Sword out. Olsen will go after it again. Lost it off her stick. And cleared out by Holy Family. Erickson. A job to avoid contact, now gives up the puck, and Shipley has it. Way right ahead, a good pass ahead. Here's Baker, across for Olsen, a shot, and Swart out to save. Well, that was nice passing by Maple Grove, but Swart out able to stifle that chance. 1-10 to go in the period. Puck still in the fire zone. Cross it comes to Erickson. Captain will put it on toward the net and it's blocked before it gets there. And Maple Grove offside. Oh, it's close there. Well, Swartout's doing her job, John. She's doing a good job stopping him and keeping it down, trying to grab every rebound she can. But, boy, the pressure from Maple Grove has been unrelenting this period. 19 saves now for Swartout. Fire get it up to center. Lynn lost it off her stick. Goes back into their end where Sander takes it. Sander fighting off pressure from Oakland. Will push it in on the right side. Still with the puck. Sander back behind the crimson net. Still with it in the circle. Now she'll set up. Moves in from the left point. And dumps it back behind the net for Lynn. Lynn's centering attempt that went off a skate there of Elfstrand to the blue line, kept in by Showalter. Some late pressure here in the period from Holy Family. 
Puck cleared to the boards, and Elfstrand has it for Maple Grove. Missed on the pass, and the icing there on Maple Grove. We'll give the uh, family one more shot. You don't want to give up no. a faceoff in your zone this late in the period. Ooh. Well, the Fire get an opportunity here with an offensive zone faceoff. Be nice if they could get it with them one goal before the period ends. Nonwire wins the faceoff clean. Back it comes, and a good block by Olsen on the shot from Sander. Comes back out, long shot by Baker as the period comes to an end. Maple Grove adds to its lead. They double it on the goal from Kelsey Olsen. And so we go to the third period, Dan, 2 0. Nice job. Maple Grove Crimson come through. They've increased their shot totals now, 21 to 12. They're starting to take, take control of this game. We'll be back with more of our ho hockey coverage on CCX after this. Mark Stephenson in the house today to watch some uh, girls hockey. Maple Grove leading Holy Family. I briefly talked to him before we came back from break. One of his partners in his law firm has a daughter that skates for Holy Family. Oh. So he's here part because of them, part to take on the uh, the hometown team. But good to see Mayor Stephenson. He and I go back way back. Well, I won't say how many years, but a long time. A long time mayor here at Maple yeah. Grove. He was a good one. I just spent a lot of time with the Chambers of Commerce with him, and he's really a good guy. He's been a good leader for this city. I keep reelecting him, but I got, and he keeps it's doing right. the job. Yeah. Well, it's one nothing after one, as I mentioned. We'll look at highlights from the second period of play. And again, I, I talk about the, the the good skating we've had in this game that uh, came to fruition that period. That was their best scoring chance all day. Angie Cody, who's just an eighth grader, put it in on that. Danny Strom able to make the save. Kelsey Olsen off a terrific feed from Hadley Baker. Got Maple Grove's second goal of the game. Baker the lone assist on that one. Then a bad giveaway here for Holy Family. Now Shipley trying to turn it into another scoring chance. And Olsen's shot hits traffic. and. Bounced harmlessly away, and Maple Grove opening up that shots on goal edge now after first period to where we are now. Now 21 to 12. Shots, scoring chances rather, 8 to 5. Still just one penalty back in the first period. It's been a clean game, a good game. Yeah. Not a lot of scoring. I don't know that we necessarily expected a lot of scoring either. No. These teams are really good hockey teams. They don't necessarily score a ton, but they don't give up a lot either most nights. They don't really. And defense wins your games, as you as you well know. So they're both playing well, and you know, two nothing. Although I gotta say, that's a big lead for Maple Grove right now with the way they're playing. It's gonna be tough to crack that bad boy for the Fire, but we'll see what they come up with here in the last period. Trying to break their two-game losing streak, the Crimson on Senior Day leading it two to nothing through two periods of play. Kelsey Olson, sixth of the season, the second one of the day for the Crimson. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Maple Grove Community Center, Sunday afternoon hockey. Maple Grove girls leading Holy Family Fire two to nothing with one period of hockey to play here today as the Crimson skate for their 
12th win of the season. Danny Strong, one of the uh, seniors honored before the day was senior day here at Maple Grove. Grace Erickson, one of the captains, another senior. I think that's sometimes tougher on the, the parents <laughs> and the kids, right? I remember my when my son was a senior and playing football, and like, even though the season's not over, you, you relate to that, like all the youth practices and everything, oh. you can see the, the end is in sight. So uh, congratulations to a great group of seniors, not just the varsity girls, but the managers and some that are uh, skated up and, and dressing for, for junior varsity and a good group this year for Maple Grove. Right now, the whole uh, Crimson team leading at one to two to nothing as we go to the third period. A goal in each period. Donald Shipley, Kelsey Olson with the goals today for Maple Grove. Fired just 12 shots on goal so far today, Dan. They've had a couple of good scoring chances. They're going to need more here in the third. And the question is, will Maple Grove uh, allow many scoring chances their way? They have not given up many so far. And here's Olsen here for Maple Grove. Puts it on the stick of Shipley. Just a little bit behind her, so really couldn't get much on it. But did get it to the goal where it's covered up by Swartout. Well, good turnover creation by the Crimson that time and, and almost connected there. Swartout looked a little shaky there coming down, too. We're going to see if that continues there. They're going to need her this period if they want to climb back in this thing. They need the goal. They need to get one within the first, you know, next five minutes to really make it worth a run. 20 saves for Swartout on 22 chances. Sillaru will play the puck up to center. Cronin had it picked off her stick as she had it briefly and shot into the zone by Fisher. Tomlinson trying to free it up for Maple Grove along with Winnicky back behind the fire net where Cronin takes it for Holy Family. Down to the stick of Cowan. She'll skate it up through center. Poked off her stick and played back out to neutralize. Cowan will skate it down again. Drops it back into her own zone there to Showalter. Lost it there behind to the side of the net. Put out front oh. and a good save by Swartout on the Shot from Winnicky. Yeah, it's a Maple Grove player right on the edge there. Tomlinson ready to pop it in. Sticking she was on top of it. Buck to flex back deep where it's uh, chased down there by Gallagher. Up to Oakland on the pass. Oakland will skate it up through center. And shoot it into the Holy Family end. Skate it after it in the corner. And taking it back was Sander for Holy Family. Pass across out to center to Link. Link trying to squeeze past Elfstrand as she brings it in on the left side. The two go to the corner. Buck loose and taken by Erickson for the Crimson. Oh, lost out in front and chopped up in the air. Off the stick there of Ganas, but over Strom and past the net. Grover covers, gets the puck out to center, taken off of Erickson's stick, and then brought back in offside by Lubo. We'll get a look at a couple chances here. Bounces off the shim pads here of Maple Grove player, and she puts it out front. Oh, nice save by the goalie there and deflecting it off. And there was an opportunity, too, that could have turned into something for holding in or hope. Maple Grove will dump it out to center. Shipley. Right ahead. Shot away. Swartow makes the save on Baker. Well, right now, Swartow's looked pretty good, and she kept that. You notice how she paddled out that, that stick there, so it would not go in front or bounce in front. The worst place would go be back behind the net. But you see it on the shot here. Wide angle. And she stops it from getting out in front. Erickson. Beating the pass, it came off the stick of Elvstrand. Now she ties up with Cronin with it. Cronin able to get the puck to Lynn. Lynn lost it. Cronin tried to get after it. Shipley's there for Maple Grove. She lost it, and Fire able to push it up the wing and get it out of the zone. Cody head onto the stick and brought in by Cronin. Shot back behind the Crimson net. Olsen moves it up the boards for Maple Grove. Take away 
briefly for Nonweiler for Holy Family. That's cleared back out to center. Shot back in by Cowan. Cowan goes down as Erickson able to take her out of the play. Loose puck in front, a shot and the save made. Strom able to make the save. Tomlinson, number 33 for the Crimson there, getting a little nudge in there. Don't come in here, but get a good flow here. We're going to get our first penalty of the day on Maple Grove. Is right there. Right there. Olsen's going to get called for holding. And so the Fire will get their first power play here of the day coming in the third period. Well, I got a little physical at the end there, though. Holy Family almost got a penalty, too, on that. She had to be careful. So each team with one penalty in the game. See what Holy Family can do with it now with the extra skater. Trailing by two goals. Puck played across nicely by Gallagher. The Fisher was able to fire down the ice for the Crimson. Minute 30 left in the power play. For Holy Family, Sander with it. Turns away from pressure from Lubo. Out of the stick of Schlugel. Rink wide, Cowan with it. Back to the middle of the ice. Sharkey will skate it in right side. Sharkey playing it back onto the stick of Allen. Allen will go back behind the net for it. Back out to the blue line. Now on to Allen's stick again. Under a minute to go in the power play. Kept in at the left point by Sharkey. Sharkey with it, side of the circle. Back out high to Cronin. The flex trying to get it to Sonner, and it's cleared and now tipped by Shipley out of the zone. Back on to Cronin's stick. They'll reset and bring it back in. Then the takeaway just inside the blue line and swept down the length of the ice. Good play by Silleru to take it away from Cronin. Well, this Holy Family penalty or uh, power play isn't doing much. Maple Grove is doing a great job killing penalties. And they ice the puck here, and the faceoff will come back to the fire end with just 16 seconds left with the power play. Maple Grove right now is killing penalties at 87% rate. That's 90% down here. Lynn will face off against Winnicky. One by the fire. Miss on the pass, though, trying to get break it out of their zone, and Erickson skates it down in her own end. Turns, gives it to Winnicky. Cleared, but not out. Maple Grove now back at full strength. Fire put it out in front, deflection to the boards, and skated down by the Crimsons. Keep Fisher shooting it down into the Holy Family end, but it's icing. Oh, that call kind of surprised me. I thought that D for Holy Family could have got it, but I've been known to be wrong on occasion, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at the standings in Section 2 as We talked about Minnetonka, really been the, the team to beat for a while in that section. They're at top again, no doubt. And then Eden Prairie and Holy Family at 2 and 3, and it kind of drops off from there. But it's certainly a chance for the Fire to get back to the championship game again. Long pass ahead to Fisher. She got spun around. It's going to be a penalty whistled here. Against Shugel. And you can tell by that look, like she's absolutely astonished they called the penalty. But she lost her stick and got it in there. And they thought these stick penalties, John, they make definite. If there's any kind of illicit looking contact there. She did. She hooked her. Big time. Well, we'll see if Mabel Grove can improve their power play percentage here. Second power play of the day for Maple Grove. They're 0 for 1. Shipley fires a shot and misses the net and goes wide and high. Olsen with it, beating it off for Erickson. 
Fanned on her pass, but able to chase the loose puck down. Now Erickson moves down the slot, fires a shot. A lot of traffic there. It hits it. Kept in the zone by Elfstrand. Erickson broke her stick and asked to come off. Shot away from Shipley, and the glove saved by Sword Out. Boy, really good puck movement by the Crimson on this power play. They're doing a nice job moving it around. We saw Grace Erickson lose her stick, busted her stick. She's got to go in the lock and get another one. On the faceoff here with the 120 to go in the power play. The fire able to fire it down the ice. Elfstrand with it for Maple Grove. Finn back shorthanded. Almost had a takeaway there for Holy Family. And on the boards it comes to Baker's stick. Trying to push it up through the middle of the ice. Poked away. Elfstrand with it again for Maple Grove. Here comes Shipley and fires a shot right into the midsection of Sword Out. Well, Crimson just got to settle her hands on a little bit. We saw a lot of pass fumbling going on there and catching, and they just they could settle that down, make a lot of difference. But good move there into the middle and used the defense as a screen and got a good shot on Sword Out there. We get a fresh set of bodies out there here for the second part of the power play. Gallagher to Erickson. Oakland back out to Erickson. Puts it toward the net looking for a tip in front from Lugo. Oh, rebound trying high and that goes over the net off the stick of Sillerud. Sillerud lost it and taken by Nonwire. Was able to get it out of the zone. Then brought back in by Lugo on the left side. She goes down. Fire trying to clear. Can't though. Back onto Oakland stick. Ten seconds left in the extra skater. Gallagher shot a tip. And the save made by Swart out. And then the clear by Holy Family. That'll kill off the rest of the penalty. Eight and a half minutes to go in the third period. Each team with a power play chance here in the third, but no goals off of them. And we stay at 2 0 Crimson. Uh, goes to show the quality of both penalty kill units on these teams. They've done a great job. Holy Family in their own end. Sander playing it behind her net to Cronin. Back off for Allen. Jenna Allen's pass off the stick of Lynn down into the Maple Grove ender. Gallagher got it out of there. Icing here on Maple Grove. Well, get a good look at good shot there and a good tip that almost had it. They're really setting up and camping in front of that Holy Family net. And yeah, we get another good look at one here. Good shot set up. Yeah, John, I really like that. When the point gets it for the terms they don't hesitate. They fire away. And they need to. Shot by Shugo got tipped just wide of the Maple Grove net. And they stay at 2 0. Olsen, the Shipley for Maple Grove back the other way. Drop pass for Olsen. Missed wide of the net on her shot. Fire. Uh, I think I got played up out of play briefly in the bench. Uh, brought the whistle. Look at that face off win for the fire and shot. Just Ooh. went wide of Strom. That was close. Well, Strom. Ma Maple Grove's doing everything right, John. They're just not getting it in, into the back of the twine. Strom looking for a sixth shutout of the season. Fire will try to end it here on this. Shift. Here comes Allen deep. Carries to the net. Oh, and oh. comes up with a huge save on the senior from Holy Family. Cowan can't get a shot away. Swept out of danger by Maple Grove. Allen will push it back in. Behind the net it goes and on to the stick of Allen Anderson. Now to Tomlinson. Macy Tomlinson skated in left side. 
A little trouble with her in her skates. Gets it back. Pushing it back out to the blue line, but Holy Family has it. Six and a half minutes to go in the third period. 2-0 Maple Grove. Well, it comes to Cronin right point. Shot Ooh. tip and Tom's got to be alert for that one. Holy Family a couple good scoring chances here later in the third. Cronin brought it back in and shot back out by Maple Grove. So reset Sharkey. Getting a pass to Cowan. Cowan went down. She came back to the blue line. Maple Grove with Winnicky back in her own end. Up comes the freshman up through the middle of the ice. Down on the left side. Cronin able to get her off the puck but kept in the zone by Daniels. Holy Family gets it back. they play it back out to center. Here's Erickson trying to stick handle it past Cronin. Couldn't do so. Nunweiler for Holy Family. And a good defensive play by Sillero to take the puck away from her. Erickson at center now swept in by Lubo into the Holy Family zone. Puck knocked down by Daniels in the fire zone. Back by Erickson, kept in by Erickson rather. And then pushed out of the zone by Richter of Holy Family. Shugel able to get it out. Richter's pass missed, got blocked. It's a back on her stick. Here comes Richter in for Holy Family. Puts it out in front, and a good sweep away there by Elfstrand. Fluttering puck Ooh. comes through to Strom, and she covers up. That could have caught Strom by surprise because it looked like it was coming out. And uh, did a nice job when it came back in. She stayed focused on it, but good run here. Yeah, nice move for that backhand. Just missed. And then another one here deflected up. Strom's on her game, man. She's focused on that puck really nice, no matter what direction it changes. Crimson will flip it out to center ice with four and a half minutes to go here in the third period. Icing again on Maple Grove. Well, it looked like it hit a Maple Grove stick there, but or uh, Colby Family stick there, but comes back into the Maple Grove zone. Elfstrand with the puck for the Crimson. Passes it ahead into the zone. Comes Baker. Puts it toward the front of the net. Olsen trying to get a stick on it, but can't. Allen has it for Holy Family. She'll flip it ahead into the Maple Grove end. Here's Cowan with it. Centering pass out in front. Lynn was there, and so was Strom. Looking for a tip on that shot. And that goes wide in the net. On the point shot from Timmers, or excuse me, from uh, Sander. Maple Grove takes the puck away. Olsen sliding it across to Baker. Head to Shipley, got a tip on it. It's going to be icing again on Maple Grove. Going to try. They were close to the red line, but didn't quite do it. But I love the way Maple Grove's defense is stepping up, John. They're blocking shots. They're getting their sticks in the way. They're making it very difficult. For the Holy Family to get a nice, decent shot on that on Strom, and when they do get a shot on it, Strom's up to the up to the task. Big win for faceoff on the faceoff for Maple Grove. Well, skated all the way down with Silverud carrying it deep, still with the puck back behind the fire net, got rubbed off the play. Puck poked away by Tomlinson there. But the fire have control of again. Pass up at center. Gallagher picks that off and fires it back in for Maple Grove. You can see how much pressure that the uh, Maple Grove points putting on, even in the neutral zone. Crimson fans wanted a face off, or a penalty, penalty. rather, as Winnicky was taken down. Fire, play it back out to the neutral zone where Gallagher will shoot it back in. Ran into Cowan there. Under three minutes to go here in the third period. Holy Family needs two in a hurry. 
Shipley keeps the puck in the Holy Family zone. Now Erickson moves in. Erickson cuts toward the front of the net, lost the puck. And a take away there by Shugel. Yeah. Shot away here. And that's steered away. No Olsen shot comes to Erickson. Erickson will feed it off. Baker put one toward the net. Shipley got a stick on it. She'll skate it down. Back out to Baker. Plays it to the opposite corner. Erickson moving it for Olsen. Showalter for Holy Family. And cleared out of the zone. And so no real scoring chances there, Dan, but they killed about 40 seconds exactly. off the, the clock on that shift. Holy Family goalie is off the ice now. A little hesitation at first for Swarda, but now on the bench. Now it's Shipley. He's got an empty net, but poked away from her. Shot back ahead, cleared back out. Cronin lost it. Chance for Maple Grove, but can't push it ahead. Now Erickson ahead for Shipley. On to Olsen. Yeah, Stick, yeah. and she buries it. Second goal of the night for the junior, Kelsey Olsen. And that'll do it. It's 3 nothing. Well, the fire just couldn't get it down inside that Maple Grove zone. Just a lot of takeaways and muff pass catches in neutral zone, and it cost them. You got to pick it up a little more urgency when you don't have a goalie there and really go after it hard. But you can see a nice play by Maple Grove. And uh, Kelly Olsen just took her time, made sure she got to the center of the net, and she sealed this game for the Crimson. Shipley gets the lone assist, and Kelsey Olsen second in the game. And seventh of the season to make it 3 0. Sword out back in net for Holy Families. You look at the standings coming into this weekend in Section 5. Centennial Spring Lake Park and Maple Grove 1 2 there. And no surprise. Champlain Park Crew and Rapids had a good season. They could definitely be a team that could sneak into the championship game with a good effort in the, in the semifinals. And Rosemont, or excuse me, Roseville at number four. Uh, We've seen a lot of Centennial and Maple Grove <laughs> through uh -huh. the years in section finals and <laughs> could set up that way again next month in Roseville. Bluebirds of Champlain Park, Coon Rapids would like to earn their spot this year. Showalter with a shot hits traffic as we're down to 35 seconds to play in the third period. Well, there always seems to be one upset in the sections, at least one. So we'll see who it happens to be this year. Strom steers the loose puck back behind her net. Oakland able to tie up the Holy Family player length there. On to 15 seconds to play. Take away. Holy Family gets the puck and Strom with a last second shot. He's going to preserve shutout number six with that, <laughs> with that one. That one. Uh, well, a dicey. The fire is. You know, we made her work for it. That's for yeah. doggone sure. But nice come out of from up front there, and just a good way for to get a shot on goal. Cody was the uh, player with that a shot on, and that'll do it. And Maple Grove skates to a three to nothing win today. They break a two game losing streak, and a nice effort for Coach Coltis and uh, the rest of these. Maple Grove girls on senior day. Yeah, it was a nice one to get on senior day by God of all the fall to all in celebration. But, you know, they needed this one. They needed to get some confidence because, you know, the big time's coming around the corner here, John. We're going to start section soon. Kelsey Olson with two goals, Bella Shipley with one, and Danny Strom with the shutout. A lot of veterans having a big role in today's win for Maple Grove. The victory pushes Maple Grove's record to 12, 6, and 1. Holy Family drops to 10, 8, and 1. That'll do it for our telecast today from Maple Grove Community Center. For Dan Ficken and all of our great crew here in Maple Grove, I'm John Jacobson. Stay warm. Our final score again, Maple Grove, 3, Holy Family, nothing.